Hello, 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 hello. Uh, welcome back to the next uh, episode round of uh, the Golden Goblet series for Spelunky, where Northern Lion, Dan Giesling, and myself all attempt to, um, well, do the daily challenge and see who comes out with the highest score. Um, I, right as of right now, I don't know who won. The previous round because given my schedule and streaming schedule and all that stuff I won't have time tomorrow to actually record but the way the daily runs works it's like 7 or 8 p.m. EST my time it rolls over to the next daily anyways it doesn't matter the point is I don't know uh, who won but uh, that said I feel like I lost in a lot of ways because even though I think like I had a respectable s score given that I didn't go to hell um I sorry I am uh brain farting right now um yeah, even though I didn't go to hell. Hold on, my brain is not working right now. I got a decent amount of money despite going to hell, but really it doesn't even if I did win, doesn't feel like a victory um to me without beating hell. So, um that's Okay, I got to I got to dial in. This is not a warm-up run. This is not a a normal run. This is a world record attempt run. Um, I'm not going to use a rope for that. Uh, we will crack that open. If there were multiple gems up there, you could guarantee I would uh, sacrifice a rope. You know, it's all about that uh, cost efficiency, cost benefit analysis, blah, blah, blah. You know, one rope is definitely worth multiple gems. Um, one bomb is definitely... It's hard to say, you know, this early on, you know, one bomb for one crate, but... Okay, well. We can buy more. Um, let me just think here for a second. I want that crate. We're all in now. Uh, okay, uh, fortunately I didn't kill Monty because I needed him. I gotta dial it in. Please be bombs. It's a compass. Um, you know, it helps. It helps. I'm gonna go get that gold over there. Just give me one second to be very careful. Did I see... I've already... Because I've been so tilted. I feel like I saw... The altar up above and then I forgot about it. That would have been... If that's the case, I apologize to you and myself. Um, I very quickly need to... Check something. Uh, I actually have to respond to Ryan about this exact event. So I'm going to do now, quickly, while I actually have a moment. Um... Okay, I apologize. Because once I'm on this level, that, that's it. No more damage. We've got a compass so we know which way we're going. Blue Jedi, of course, would be highly, highly nice. This music is also highly, highly nice. Uh, do not, See, I almost jumped down there to bop him. There's really no reason to do that. The, the, but the thing I wanted to go there is to get the lowest elevation so you can see what's below you. You see, maybe maybe the key is there. That was not great, because now I don't have a rock. Um, maybe the key's there, or the chest, and then it, it's got you thinking, okay, well, I gotta make sure I also check what's up top, because the other half of the equation might be up there, you know? Sometimes you, you go all the way to the bottom, and you're like, oh, the chest is here. Where's the key? And then you 
it's in the, like the top left corner and highly inaccessible and not always, but sometimes. Hmm. Now that's the, this is the, that's an easy kill. You know what? I'm going for it. Um, it's for sure risky, but, uh, <clears throat> the shotgun is nice and it's also kind of nice just knowing where I stand with the shopkeeper. Okay. Do that. You know, don't, don't take too much time doing simple stuff, but, uh, oopsies. We don't want to get ourselves hurt. Extra bombs, very helpful because we're going to need those to, to kind of attack the shopkeepers when we don't have proper line of sight. And that happens. Happens all the time. All right. Just be very careful. I do, you know, for me to, to be competitive in this, I do need to, like, okay, there is the altar there. Um... Now, here's the real thing is like, I would like to go, 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 go. Oh gosh. Um, I was afraid that I, I went to go hang out with the snake. Um, ooh, that's actually pretty good. Um, so that the bomb wouldn't blast the arrow in my butt. All right, so here's the thing. Oh, okay. There is the key. I was going to, I was going to grab that. But I don't want to crush the key or the chest. Okay, and the chest is there. Let's get this bat out of the way first. Then you bop this guy just in case. Then you try to hit this guy. Come on, dangle to your maximum. Yes, sir. Okay, so the key is down there. We got four bombs, no sticky, no glove. Either that's already gone off, or we're just out of the realm of influence. Okay. Um, that worked out. <laughs> I was gonna say, like, ah, eh, you know, maybe I, I. The reason I set off the arrow was because. I didn't want to get in the fight with them, and then I accidentally jump up, and then I, you know, you get hit by it, and blah, blah, blah. So, yeah. Now, one of the things I have to remind myself of that I, I screwed up last time was I spent too many bombs on earlier levels. Okay. What? Oh, it's just that. Okay. Uh, I mean, I do want those gems, though. Absolutely. Okay, both arrows have been set off too. Be quick about that. Be careful. I mean, that's, that's why you want them, right? Like... Okay, we're gonna go. Um, yeah, that, that was my issue last time, was I spent too many bombs on, like, the ice caves and, um, the black market trying to get too many diamonds like i think it was good and i'll still do it if i have as many bombs this time as i do last time which you know that's that's a lot of ropes which is nice oh this is a matic level oh this is this is tempting because with the matic we can get many uh many gems Um, like it might be worth it just to have the Matic on this level. Okay, I'm doing some like stuff that I probably sh like shouldn't be doing in terms of like maneuvers and such, like unnecessary risk. I will just get this. Now, because I do not have, um, what do you call it? 
sticky gloves or a lot of uh, ropes. I'm not feeling too into the whole idea of just come on, oh, come on. Let's get that out of the way. You really gonna do me like that? All right, fine. Uh, yeah, I, I, I. I don't want to try and ghost this level, but I'm gonna I'm gonna get a few gems here in this sector while I can. Um, let's see if we can get this guy. I don't even really care about those ropes. Like I'm not gonna try to. He's gonna get aggro in a second here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That's fine. All right. Oh, they're all dead. That's really good. Ah, okay. Watch the spikes yourself. Just in case. Just in case. All right. Uh, you know, I would like to get Monty, but we're okay for health, and it's going to cause me to rush, and I might fall and bounce on the spikes. You never know. You never know. Okay, this is terrible. He does have ropes, so I'm going to do this just to get a little bit closer. Hopefully, he'll run out. He does have some bombs, so like, I'm... Oh, what the... Okay, I, I, I know it seems like I maybe threw it there on purpose, but I meant to throw it straight. And I somehow... Okay. I just want him to just go down. Let's be careful. We just gotta stay alive at this point. Maybe killing the shopkeeper so early was not for the best. Please. I don't know. What exactly happened to him? He seemed Oh, okay, he's dead. That's good. Um Well, here's the problem. What level am I on? 2 1. There is a chance the black market is here, and that's terrible because I didn't mean to do that. Um, watch the frog. I think I see the... No, I don't see it. I thought, I thought this little fringe right here was it, but... Again, not going to get Monty. I got to save bombs for the actual black market. Okay. <gasps> well. Um, just terrible. Terrible, terrible all around. I, uh, oh man. Oh man. Oh man. I'm not, I'm never gonna live this down, brother. Oh. The thing, okay, so lesson, there's a second lesson learned I need to apply moving forward is, um, maybe I shouldn't just auto kill the shopkeeper. Unless he's got some real good stuff. You know? I don't know. And the other thing is... I mean... 
I explored a little bit too much on this level. I mean, for in my defense, it, I was looking for the black market. Um, but that does eat up a lot of time when it's a dark level. Oh, but just misplays, you know? It, it, there, there's no real excuse. That was on me. But uh, I feel pretty terrible, man. That's a bad showing. It's a bad showing. Well, I mean, there's there's not much I can do. Uh, this is the shortest video I think I've ever done of Spelunky. Maybe I should have done a warm up run or something. I don't know. Uh... <laughs> oh no! I have no doubt. I mean, I feel like Ryan and Dan are both gonna beat that. Especially if they didn't aggro the shopkeeper. Not that the shopkeeper killed me there, but you know it's a it it doesn't help. Oh man, I don't even know what else. This is not a good start. Feels bad, man. Oh, well, I just gotta come at it on the next one, just like crush it just crush it the first run wasn't too bad it's just that stupid frig <sighs> well anyways i'll uh, i'll see you guys for the next one uh i'm sorry to disappoint it really i just i feel bad about my, like for myself you know you don't have to feel bad for me but i do i do anyways well, we're gonna. It's it's just getting started. Just getting started. I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna I'm gonna prove all the haters wrong. I don't think there are haters, but if they are our haters, oh, just you wait. Anyways, until uh, you know tomorrow, we'll have another one, and hopefully it'll last longer than 11 minutes, 50 seconds, and 302 milliseconds. Frick. All right. Until then, peace out.